In video number 32, we're going to be comparing and ordering real numbers. So let's begin. Go ahead and take out your homework sheet, which looks like this. Um, we're going to do four practice problems together, and then you have six problems here at the bottom that you're, you're going to be looking at. Okay, let's take a look here at problem number one. We have four sevenths, and we're comparing that to 0 0.5 bar. Okay, it's repeated decimal. So what we have to do first is convert four sevenths into a decimal form. Okay. Or we can do 0.5 bar into a fraction form. Either way. Um, I like to uh, change my uh, decimals into fractions and cross multiply. Therefore, I don't have to do my own division. So if we take 4 sevenths and we're going to compare it to, we know 0.5 bar is 5 ninths. So if we're comparing fractions, we just like, compare the cross props. So we're going to multiply going across. So this is going to be 35, and this is going to be 36. So we can see that 4 sevenths is greater than 0.5. If you don't like doing it that way, there's another method, and that is to um, convert 4 sevenths into a fraction. So we're going to do 7 into 4, which is going to be 0. Uh, 7 goes into 40. Five times, subtract 35, we get 5, bring down to 0. 7 goes into 59, or excuse me, not 9, 8, 7 times. Subtract 49, we get 10. So we, we have enough place values now to see that 0 0.57 is greater than 0 0.555. Okay, so we can compare it that way by using change them both to decimal. Either method will work. Let's take a look here at number two. Number two, we have a whole list of real numbers. And we got to figure out the order. And we're going to go from least to greatest. And we're going to use the number line down here to help us sort them. Okay, what I like to do whenever I have a whole list of, of positive and negative numbers is to kind of divide up the list into positive numbers on my, um, on my right and negative numbers on my left. Okay, so I'm going to put my positive numbers over here. So I have two-thirds. And the reason I do that is because that's the, that's the direction on the number line that they'll be. Um, so we got two-thirds. We got the square root of eight. We got pi over three. And we got two and one-fourth. Okay, so we got four numbers here that are all positives. Now my negatives, I got 0.75. And then I got negative 9 fifths. Okay, so those are my two ne negatives. Okay. Well, so for my negatives, I just have to compare 0. 0.75 and 9 fifths. Well, this, to do nine, uh, negative 9 fifths, we're going to do 5 into 9. Okay, we know it can't get our 5 goes into 9, we know 1 time. Okay, so it's going to be 1. And then put your decimal zero. Put your decimal in here. Subtract five. We get four. So five goes into forty-eight times. So we know that that's negative one point eight. Okay. So let's write that number on our number line. Let me do that here. So we're going to put a negative nine fifths, probably right in here. So negative nine fifths goes here. Okay, and I'm going to erase that word. Okay, and then I can put my negative 0.75. Mm, looks like it fall right in here. So I've done two of my numbers, so I can cross those out. Okay, now I'm going to look at my positive numbers. Okay, two thirds. Well, I know two thirds. Two thirds is one of my benchmark decimals. So that's 0.66. There's 0.6 bar. Okay, so that's going to lie somewhere past the halfway mark here. So I'm going to put my two thirds here. So I've done two thirds. Okay, now I'm two thirds. I'm going to do my square root last. Okay, two and one fourth. Well, that's easy to put on. That's two and a quarter. So that would be somewhere in here. So that's where two and one fourth goes. Okay, now, 
that leaves me with the square root of 8 and pi over 3. Okay, well, I'm going to estimate pi to be 3.14. So 3.14 divided by 3 is just a little bit more than 1. So I'm going to put that right in here, just a little bit more than 1. It's going to be pi over 3. Okay, and that there. Now I just have to do the square root of 8. Well, I'm going to estimate that. Okay, so my perfect squares are 4 and 9. Okay, so the square root of 4 and the square root of 9, especially the square root of 9, which is 3, but it's a little less than 3. So I'm going to put somewhere right in here, just a little less than 3, is the square root of 8. So there's my order. Okay, so now I put them in order. Negative 9 fifths, negative 0 0.75, 2 thirds, pi over 3, 2 and 1 fourth, and the square root of 8. Okay? That will help you if you use a number line to do these comparing, especially with those that have a lot of numbers in them. Let's look at number three. Okay, number three, we're looking at um, negative three. Well, we can put that on a number line real easy. Okay, that goes right here. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Okay, and all of my other numbers are positive. Okay, so 10 thirds, 10 over three. Well, that three goes into 10, three times um, with one third left over. So three and one third is going to be right about in here. So let's put three and one third there. Or I'm sorry, we'll lay it as it is, ten, ten thirds. So put ten thirds there. Okay. And now we need 1.2. Well, that's a little bit past here. And we'll put 1.2 there. And now one fifth, one fifth, okay, which is the same thing as one fifth is equal to 0.2. So 0.2 would be just a little bit beyond the zero mark. So there goes a one fifth, okay. Our pi, um, pi is 3.14. 10 thirds, we said, was 3 and 1 thirds. So that's 3.33. So right here, right before that, would be pi right after 3. And now the square root of 7. So the square root of 17. Well, the perfect squares are um, square root of, of, um, of 16 and the square root of one five. So it's square root of um, 17 is closer to this. Square root of 16 is 4. So we'll say it's just a little bit less, or excuse me, a little bit more than 4. So we'll do a little bit more than 4 is the square root of 17. And I'm going to get rid of all this work here, and then I'll show you the order that they fall. Okay? So we, we end up with negative 3, 1 fifth, 1 1.2, pi, 10 thirds, in the square root of 17. Let's do one. Let's do one more of those. Let's look at number 4 here. Okay, we have two negatives, so let's put our negatives down here, negative square root of 10, and negative 1.6. And then our positives will put over here, pi over 2, 1 and 7 eighths, 2.8, and that's all. Okay. One, negative 1.6, 1. well that's easy. That's a little bit past the halfway mark right here. So we put negative 1.6 1. in there. Now we got to do the square root of 10. Well, the perfect numbers, that 10 square root of 10 falls between the square root of, let's see here, square root of, square root of 9 and the square root of 
16. Closer to the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So it's a little bit more than negative 3. So we'll put just a little hair beyond that. So that'd be negative square root of 10 down here. Okay. Let me get rid of some of that work so you, I can look up some of the others. Okay, so I did my negatives. Now I'm going to go do my positive. Well, 2.8 is going to be down here at 2.8. That's pretty easy to put on. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm going to rewrite that. I'm going to erase it. 2.8 right here. Now, um, pi over 2. So that's 3 and 1 fourth divided by 2. Okay, well, half of 3 is 1.5. So it's just a little bit beyond 1.5. Okay, so if I can put just a little bit beyond 1.5, it would be 5 over 2. And then 1 and 7 eighths. Well, 1 and 7 eighths is even farther beyond that. Okay, so that would be 1 and 7 eighths. So now I've ordered them. Okay, so my order goes to square root of negative square root of negative 10 the opposite of square root of 10 negative 1.6 pi over 2 1 and 7 eighths and then 2.8 that is my eighths. okay now what I like you to do is pause the video and do the six practice problems once you're done and pause the video now you won't pause the video just check your work Okay, 5 is greater than, 6 is equal to, 7 is equal to, and then 8, so that's the order, and then 9, and 10, check those. Okay, if you have any questions, make sure you bring those to class tomorrow, and I'll, I'll answer them. Okay, thank you for doing your homework tonight. See you in class tomorrow.